Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit for all of us who are all on this journey of love. And I am going with the wisdom of Love Oracle today and uh, gonna ask, as always, what is the guidance that we need to know for today? For the Twinkle Flame Collective, what is it that we need to know? And there's been a cycle recently of healing, releasing, letting go, feeling completely, excuse me, that's Bowie, um, cut off for the connection and um, having to go this deep within. So there's times when you feel a connection really strongly, whether that be in physical or in spirit, spirit. And then there are times when sometimes it just vanishes and you think, oh, what's happened? And so if you have felt that recently, then um, just know that that is a shared uh, experience, that we are all feeling that. Well, some of us are feeling it. Um, so <laughs> what we're being told to do is find our own inner happiness. Let ourselves be lifted, uh, right, by our own wings. If you see that here as well. So we have to find our internal happiness, be content within. When we're content within, uh, we are able to, you know, manage our own energy. We can't manage the, you know, exterior situations that we bring to us because that's happening at a soul growth level. And uh, we don't see what's coming. Um, so we just have to manage how we react to things. And the next one is this, yes. It, you know, chop wood, what does the master do? The master goes and collects water and chops wood. When he becomes the master, he goes and chops water, chops water, he goes and collects water and chops wood. Um, and so it is about knowing that we are brushing, clearing up the energies and just trusting, you know, that everything that we are doing, we're constantly doing to, to go on a journey for inner happiness, clearing away all the negative thoughts, feelings, anxieties, worries. Uh, the more that we are constantly doing that and we're finding our inner happiness, the more that we are basically lifting our energy all the time, even though it may not feel like it, you know? You are a light being and we're here to shine our light. And look, the change in the wind, there will be, there is going to be a change coming. We've gone through a whole cycle, there is a change coming. And I feel that, you know, I feel that we've gone through this like cycle and we're ready for the next thing. So what is the next phase going to bring? That's the question. What is the next phase going to bring? <laughs> Decisions. Which way are you going to go? Are you going to follow intuition or are you going to go down the path of fear, anxiety, worry? Are you going to follow the intuition that may lead you down a path that you didn't expect and didn't anticipate and feels really out of, you know, your comfort zone? Because following intuition is generally what, in my experience, I have found it to be completely put me completely out of my comfort zone, made me take extreme risks. Um, but actually every single one of them has turned out, even though it, sent, it seemed like actually impossible, um, then things just, sorry, things just turned out well. So for Fork in the Road, follow intuition. And lastly, what will that bring? And the messages, look at that, you could not make it up. It will bring serendipity, basically saying that your destiny is following your intuition. And um, it's time to release all of the doubt, all of the fear, all of the anxiety, because serendipity <laughs> and the four leaf clover, which is good luck. And that's on number 18. So let me just read 18 um, from the book. 
because I just think that is brilliant. And oh, look at that, I opened it on the page as well. And it's page 69, stop it. 69 is Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine, Divine Union. The, the union of the divine energies. I mean, you could not make it up. Ridiculous. So here we go. 69 is spirit has a plan. And that plan is to place you in front of the right person at the right time. You have met or are about to meet someone vitally important to your journey. Someone spirit wants to bring into your life. Only divine forces can plan this meeting. It is out of your hands. So pay attention to the signs that spirit presents. Oh my word. Well, how brilliant is that? So I'm going to let, read letter 69. And from the Divine Love Letter books. And it is this. Here we go. So be still in the moment of our hearts beating. It takes a second to tune in. And it takes a lifetime to follow the call of the sacred heart. We are on a sacred path, a sacred love, a powerful love, a calling. Like two lovebirds being brought together to play and sing their sweet bird song out to the universe. Believe that we will find our wings. That was the first card. It was be happy and she had wings. So believe that we will find our wings. We will find our freedom. We will be able to rekindle our passion. It is written in the sacred book of our souls. Our records know our universal truth. Our maker knows what we are here for. We are being brought back into oneness. We are being brought back to love. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to read it once more. Be still in the moment of our hearts beating. It takes a second to tune in and it takes a lifetime to follow the call of the sacred heart. We are on a sacred path, a sacred love, a powerful love, a calling. Like two lovebirds being brought together to play and sing their sweet bird song out to the universe. Believe that we will find our wings. We will find our freedom. We will be able to rekindle our passion. It is written in the sacred book of our souls. Our records know our universal truth. Our maker knows what we are here for. We are being brought back into oneness. We are being brought back to love. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> That is absolutely beautiful. So there we go. A journey of the soul, which is all about letting go, releasing fear, following intuition, trusting in your intuition, doing everything you can to tune into your intuition, which is all about being still, being present, living from the heart, just like that letter says, following the path of our sacred heart. So. There we go. That is the message for today. If you would like healing, reading, channeling, any of my messages or services, all details are in the link below. Uh, but I will be back tomorrow. But in the meantime, I hope wherever you are, you have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.